good, fantastic Monday, brothers. This is Monday Morning Musings, and I am Timothy Andrew, the host of From the Basement Podcast. Today's topic is going to be on sacrificial love. The greatest example of sacrificial love is found in Jesus Christ. He left the glory of heaven to come to earth, to live among us, to experience our joys and sorrows, our hopes and fears. He took on human form with all its limitations and frailties and lived a life of perfect obedience to the Father. He taught us the ways of God, healed the sick, fed the hungry, comforted the brokenhearted, and in the end, he laid down his life on the cross, a sacrifice for our sins, so that we might have eternal life. This is sacrificial love in its purest form. But what does this mean for us? How can we, as mere mortals, hope to emulate such a love? The answer lies in the words of Jesus himself in the Gospel of John. He tells his disciples in John chapter 15, verse 12, This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. This is not a suggestion, but a command. It's not something we can choose to do or not do, but something we must do. And it's not something we can do on our own strength, but something we can do only with the help of the Holy Spirit. In the original Greek text of the New Testament, the word used for love is agape. This word, rich in meaning, signifies a selfless, sacrificial love that seeks the highest good of the other. It is the kind of love that God has for us and that we are called to have for one another. We find this word used in other passages of the New Testament as well such as in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Here it is used to describe the kind of love that is patient, kind, and enduring. C.S. Lewis once wrote, Love is not an affectionate feeling, but a steady wish for the loved person's ultimate good as far as it can be obtained. This quote is the essence of sacrificial love. It's not about how we feel, but about what we do. It's not about what we get, but about what we give. It's not about us, but about others. We need to strive to develop sacrificial love in our lives. Let us strive to understand it, to practice it, to cultivate a heart of gratitude, and to rely on God's strength. Let us strive to be more like Christ, who showed us the ultimate example of sacrificial love. Let us strive to love not just in word or speech, but in action and in truth. Let me end here with, we're not alone in this journey. We have a guide, a perfect example in our Lord Jesus Christ. He showed us what it means to love sacrificially, to put others before self, to give without expecting anything in return. And he didn't just show us. He empowers us to do the same. Through the Holy Spirit, we have the strength, the courage, the capacity to love as he loved. Let's strive to live out this sacrificial love in our daily lives. Let's love our neighbors, our family, our friends, even our enemies, with a love that reflects the love of Christ. Let's make a conscious effort to put others before self, to give without expecting anything in return, to love as Christ loved us. Let me pray. O heavenly loving Father, 
I thank you for your word, for the wisdom it imparts, for the guidance it provides. I thank you for the example of sacrificial love that you've given us in your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to carry this love in our hearts, to share it with the world, to reflect your love in all that we do. In Jesus' precious and holy name I pray, amen. Please visit my podcast website from thebasement.org to fill out the comments and feedback section. If you have podcast ideas, please send them my way. Your feedback is kept private and is invaluable to me. For those who wish to contribute further, donations are greatly appreciated to help sustain and improve my podcast and nonprofit organization. Please visit my nonprofit website at fromthebasementinc.org. Go this week letting the love of Christ shine through you.